Hello everyone, I am DeFudge3004. Welcome back to Stranded Deep. I'm in the middle of moving another piece of the container. I actually only have two over there. Uh, this this uh, past weekend from when this was recorded, I was at my friend's house and got one piece over fine. Came back, got another piece. And I kind of ended up in the other corner of the map, in the f far corner from where I got lost at that one island, where the containers are, and yeah, so, um, I got lost, and I am headed back. I actually just got this second piece loaded on here, but I have something on me that I think is actually probably going to be the best. So, um, that little yellow dinghy raft that we have, there was a compass in there and I never think of using it but I think it's actually gonna work out a lot better because if I go southeast I end up at that island from where I started and if I go northwest well there's a whale right there how do you like that then I go to this island where hopefully we will have our stuff at so we have a way a whale tail right now how do you like that that's awesome hey guy how are you I would talk whale to you, but I don't know how to, so. Um, again, in my Subnautica video, I said that I turned the graphics up. I turned them up in this game, too. Turned everything up to high, some things up to ultra. And I did a couple of tests, and it looks to be pretty good. So, this is what I'm going to be doing, making this look really good. I noticed that the waves look good. The colors are, I turned the colors to vibrant, because they were kind of a neutral. But now they're on vibrant, so maybe that will make a little bit of a difference. I'm headed back. We'll try to get some more pieces on our house that we have building. Um, when I was back there getting pieces from the raft, uh, from the container, I mean, uh, the animals have already respawned because I was lost for like two days out in the water. And I went back for about two or three more days just getting pieces. So, yeah, it's coming. We're getting pieces over there. As soon as I get the last three pieces, two or three pieces, I don't remember which it is, then we'll begin building on the house, and maybe we'll even be able to, you know, go to another island or something. We've already been over there, because there was a log sticking out a tree stump, because I think we got lost there, even though I didn't know our main island was over here. That was before I found this island, and instead ended up way back over there. I'm starting to learn my way around a little bit, and then they'll come out with the full release, and I'll get lost all over again on the bigger map. But we're almost home. We're almost home, yeah, to our island that we're going to be building on and have the container pieces on, so I think that's pretty awesome. As soon as I get these pieces moved, I'll come back, and unless, of course, anything happens, and I'll let you, um, let you guys know what's going on, and we'll continue building on our house. I'll talk to you here in just a little bit. I like seeing the clouds rolling like they're doing right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. The way that they're kind of just rolling in and obscuring the moon, I just think that looks really cool. I turned on the volumetric clouds also, and I just think it looks pretty darned awesome. You can just see them rolling right along. That looks so cool. I never, 
really noticed this stuff before, but turning up the graphics makes a huge difference if you can handle it. Just looks so amazing. The water's so nice looking. When it gets to be daytime and I have all this done, then we'll be looking around checking some more of this stuff out. One of the problems when you're moving container panels like this, whether they're you can put three or four or ten on your raft is irrelevant. If you stop by using your anchor, chances are this is going to slide and either fall off or slide off quite a ways. And you may not notice it. When I was playing with my friend and, uh, well, he was watching me play while we were listening to some music. And I stopped because I got lost, you know, and I would stop at an island or something. And I'd just put down the anchor instead of, you know, raising the sail or lowering the sail. And we did once and I started going along and he's like, where's that piece? Where's that, um that panel or whatever it was that he said the container and I'm like well I didn't pick it up I was thinking the box you know those container boxes that you store stuff in and I was like yeah da 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 going along oh there's another whale tail and then I was like oh shoot where is it and he's like I didn't realize what he was talking about it had apparently fallen off and I couldn't find it again but when I stopped another island we got off or I got off and was doing some stuff you know cooling down or whatever and I went back and this thing was all sticking up in the air almost off the front of the raft I'm like oh now I know what happened so if you use this to stop it will make that slide forward and you may very well lose it try to keep that in mind if you are carrying these panels it could possibly save you a lot of time and a lot of frustration let me see if I am actually on the right path. I think I need to not go to that island. I need to go to that island over in the distance in front of the container panel where I keep saying container panel. That's where I need to go, not over there. So I don't know if I've been to that one. Maybe I did when I got lost, but you haven't seen that. So I'm going to wait until we actually do see that together. And we'll go looking around some more. While we are here picking up our last piece, which is the door, let's go ahead and see about skinning. I believe it is this pig, because this one should be the one that we already skinned and got two pieces from. And I was attacked by another crab, and there's one more over there, so that means there's also probably a couple of snakes somewhere out here. I'm not going to get too worried about chasing them down right now, but... Let's just go see if there is perhaps some um, hide on this guy. I think it was this one. If not, we'll find out here real quick. Sweet. Oh, so we might as well just go and take what hide that we can. Now there will just be pieces of meat on there. We are almost full. There is a crate here. Uh, let's go ahead. We, there's a plank in there. We can take this stuff back and then we have even more stuff to work with. It's all this stuff here. You can't really see. Actually, let's take you out. And let's go and drop one of you here. And let's take Label Baker or Crude Axe. Probably this Crude Axe. And let's put that in there. All right. Now, I think our better Crude Axe is in there. Pick up the container. Don't forget it again. Let's go ahead and try to get this guy on. I'm going to turn this around first, make it much easier to work with. All right. Now, get out my trusty compass. We want to go northwest about right there. Okay, good. Now, let's see about putting this guy on. And this is going to be our last piece for at least this one here. Good. I can deal with that. 
This has been a long trek going back and forth and back and forth and everything else. It has not been an easy challenge doing this. All right, let's get back home. Let's go see what all we can do, I hope. And uh, for those of you wondering, there's a wreck right there. That's where I found that other good light in. It's right next to that one, and I didn't even see it until I was over here looting something, and I'm like, what the heck? And then, of course, my raft got caught on it like three times. Of course. All right. Let's head back home. We are going southwest. We want to go a little more that way. And then we should be home here pretty quick. And then we're going to start getting our house put together. And that's going to be amazing. And then we're going to see what else we can do. Probably going to have to eat and drink once we get over there. I was going to make some aloe salve and totally forgot about it. So we're just going to have to kind of be a little sunburnt, I guess. Hopefully not too bad. We're done with this area. At least we got all of our pieces done. Now we just need to start getting things set up. Look at how close we're getting to this whale. Look at that. That's amazing. Look at that right there, huh? Isn't that awesome? Just look at that. We're next to a whale. That's awesome. Haven't ever been this close because every time I do, they kind of disappear. Hey, 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 hey. Watch your tail there, buddy. That's awesome. Never been that close before. Yay! That was cool. We got to get up close and personal. And he's still just hanging out. I wondered if he would let us get close to him. I know he need to cool down. I'll be there in a minute, girlfriend. That was really cool. We got to get really close to the whale. I've seen the tail many times. Like five times, I guess. Maybe that's not many, but it's quite a few. Right, we're almost home. We're almost home, girlfriend. And then you can get in the water, cool yourself down, take a bubble bath. Or at least a seafoam bath. And we have our last piece of the container. That's awesome. That's so good to know. At least we finally got it. Yay, all of it's done. Still have to land this thing, I know, but... We are close enough to call it good. Don't get caught on the rock. Don't get caught on the rock. Don't get caught on the rock. You got caught on the rock. Well, he still ended up good, so that's all right. I can deal with that. Let's throw that over there, and let's go get ourselves cool. I guess maybe after we drop something. Well, I guess while we're here, might as well go and collect some hay clay, huh? I was going to say hay. Come back out. We'll get those few pieces. Oh. 
You just do gotta kinda be careful about little stingers down here. So we got a little bit more clay. We can deal with that, right? Let's go drop this leather real quick. some of these rocks somewhere. <gasps> Thought it was just right down here or something. Well, we got four pieces of clay. I mean, and, oh shoot, you scared me. I just thought I saw a lionfish. We got ourselves another grouper and by the way you only get like two pieces of medium meat off these guys which I know isn't the best you think with a fish this big you get a lot of meat but you only get two pieces I had to cook up the other ones because I was lost and super hungry when I got back you just sit over there buddy all right, let's go get ourselves some food and water. Good, we're doing really good now. Okay, our water is up. Now our food needs to come up. Let's, uh... Well, heck, you know what? We might as well just go and skin up another piece, huh? Let's go and take one. Oh, shoot. Dead burn snakes. Get out of here. Oh, whoa, 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 Nelly. Man. Figure there's going to be one around here somewhere. I just didn't know exactly where. Well, we found them at least, huh? All right, let's get a piece of grouper now. That startled me. Oh, that's disgusting. Okay, we'll do a piece of grouper. We have some more bird. Now, let's go and put this medium one on. Get ourselves some food, and then I will come back, and we'll begin building on our house. I think they changed what you get off of the board, because I just got four pieces of hide off of one board. That's ridiculous. I didn't know that was a thing. Man, that is a big piece of beat, isn't it? Wow. Yeah, I, uh... Did this boar right here unless I did one of the other ones also and didn't realize it but I was looking right at him when I did it and four pieces of meat huh or hide I mean that's crazy 
Well, what that means is we should have enough hide for anything that we may want now. We're going to have to build a tannery is what we're going to have to do. So let's also look at that real quick. Let's just go see what it takes to build a tannery. Because we're also going to be able to build a loom. we got to do a lot of stuff still. We've just barely even started, to be honest. Four twine and four stick for the tanning rack. Well, this meat needs to take a while to cook up. Four twine, four stick. Let's go ahead and look at doing that. I do know there's a crab over here that wants to meet us. Up close and personal. Or there was. Don't know where they went to, but wherever they are, I'm sure they're going to be ready to come say hi. Well, I guess I'll just go ahead and gather these then. And I'll gather this stuff and I'll come right back. I got nice and full off that meat, and I uh, got some water, so now I'm doing really good, and the crab did come to say hi, and so I said hi back with a nice, uh, nice friendly gesture. Let's take you, let me see, take this piece, and let's get up here. Put down another piece, I think, on this back side again. Right there. Now we have four pieces of our wall up here. I think we could probably put another piece right there. Some of this stuff looks so good, I never realized how good this could look. But when you're looking at it through better uh, graphics card that makes all the difference in the world. I actually didn't know it could be that good. Alright, we're at least going to get up a few pieces because I want to see about maybe even expanding our house some more. But we will see what happens. There are some more. Now, we're going to have to have a lot, lot more pieces if we're going to make, like, a big place. But this will at least help get us started on the right path. We have a whole bunch of large meat here and medium meat, I guess, with those guys. And, yeah, we got a lot of stuff going on here again. I also have my other crate. Let's just drop it up here. I got crates galore. I already did. Never mind that one it was not that one not that one there we go there's some more planks oh there's some more corrugated wonder where I dropped that at okay there's another flashlight there's some more planks we'll just take that out and we'll put that up here with this one Now we have a lot of planks. Must have been one of these over here, but actually I think it was right here. Yep. How good is oops, how good is that axe? Down 35. Okay. Ours is 18. So yeah, we don't have the best axes, but we don't have the worst either. Alright, we got several walls up now we have four walls up i guess one two five walls up i guess one two three four five now let's go looking at the tannery so we can begin making some more stuff we needed four lashings how much do we have we have 23 of those one more and we're gonna have too many to carry but we do have quite a few pieces down here just go and make four lashings one, two, three, four. Alright, we got those. We're down to eight of the 
fiber sleeves let's go ahead and put four or at least two of them on there we can't right now well we already have three of them here that's all right we now have more, more than enough lashings um we need sticks that means i'm gonna have to go ahead and maybe just drop my pick for right now i said drop my pick now we need four sticks. I think I'm just going to go and chop up one of these guys. Let me see. Because we need two of these logs to be able to... Or at least one log to make planks. We have enough planks for the time being. But that isn't going to last very long in the whole realism of things. Well, let's just go and bust up one of these guys. Won't take too long. Only a few hits and then we'll be done with this. Okay, now, let's see if we can find a place to put the tannery. I don't want to stick everything all the way down here. Let's see if we can spread some stuff out. Is there any way that we could put... Darn you! Got him. Dead burn snakes anyway. Guess they came for both of them came to say hi, huh? Not too sure what I think about that. Alright, let's get that back out and let's see. We were gonna place the tanning rack. Maybe, Mr. Grouper, we can put you over with the pigs or something. Kind of get you out of our way up there. So I don't want to have everything just all crowded together. That doesn't do anything except make a big mess. We already have a big mess. Let's put, like, maybe the tanning rack and the loom right up in this area. Or even right up here or something. Maybe... Since we can't come out this way with the house or anything. Alright. Let's look at... Okay, there's a fishing pole. Oh, we need the hammer. Um, okay. Can't do that. Let's go crafting. This one. And the tanning rack. And I think we're going to put the tanning rack right up in there like this. And then we can put the loom right next to it. Actually, let's turn that around like this. And we can put the loom right next to it. Even right up against that rock right there. How's that? Sweet. Now we got that. Awesome. Well, we did make some progress. We ain't doing you quite yet. Let's... What does it take to make the loom? Loom is six sticks and four of those. It's all we really need to do, since we already have three of these lashings down here, is just make one more lashing. Let me go look around. Since most of the snakes should be gone now, we won't have to be near as worried about them. Should be nice if we can make a headlight or something. That would be awesome. Probably going to be one more Krabby Patty somewhere around. It shouldn't be too bad to take care of. I hope. Alright. Need that. We need six sticks. Is all we have is these little pine tree things. But we also have some tall... Palm trees that will work for that. This is one of the tallest ones, I think. Let's just go and knock this guy down. I'm going to do that, get some sticks, and I'll come back and I'll build the loom. Let's go and see about placing the loom now. Hopefully we'll be able to make it. For whatever reason, it's being silly with this. Alright, we're going to make it one way or the other, pal. Loom. 
That can go actually right next to there. Maybe we'll stick it just a little bit out of the way, right there. Sweet. Now we have the loom. Yay! But I lost my pick somewhere. Thought I put it right down here on the beach, but uh, it's probably right down here. I'm just not seeing her at the moment. How are we doing? We're doing pretty good food and water wise. There's my axe, but I don't seem to see the pick. Well, I'll look, ar I'll look around for the pick and then we'll be able to find that. Oh, there it is right there. Sweet. All right, well, we did do pretty good for ourselves, I'd say. We got some good stuff going on. We built a little bit more in our house. We finally got all those dad burned pieces over here. There's just one more thing that we need. And one more kind of very important thing as far as I am concerned. Let's go over to here. Let's go to C. Um, consumables. And water bottle. So we need another lashing. Okay, we can do that. How much do we have? We have nine. Let's go and make a lashing. Now we have a jar. Yay! Now we, we can begin getting water. We can make um, cloth. And we can build another water still collector. And then we can really begin placing quite a few of the planters somewhere i don't want to place them too far away but maybe we could place them like up here or even down over here along the beach we need to make the hoe we'll have to do that next time but at least we did do a lot of stuff and i'm quite pleased with that that's actually a really good thing When I drop everything, I tend to not pick everything up because then I forget that I don't have it. And then I'm like, where was it? And then I, I lose it. Then I have to go back and find it. So we're going to need a lot more of these. If we can get some of those planted also, that would be awesome. And then we have a lot more stuff to do. So we got the containers over here. We got the walls partially built. We got the loom. We got the... Uh, Man, look at these crabs everywhere. Got the tanning rack, and we got an, more hogs killed. We killed another grouper. We actually did a lot today. Maybe that's why my, my person is getting pretty tired, because they actually did quite a bit today. We, we were pretty busy little beavers today. Isn't that awesome? I am DeFudge3004. Thank you for joining me here. This is Stranded Deep. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please remember to subscribe if you're watching my channel and you enjoy the content. And like this video if you really enjoy it. Which, you know, some people actually really enjoy this kind of stuff. They like the survival games a lot and that's awesome. And we will talk to you guys next time. See you later. Bye bye.